One final point I wanted to make, which I didn't have an opportunity to do in the last video, is associated with creating things. And I'm doubling down my efforts in a variety of different directions, be it with regards to podcasts, model or radio specifically, but also with regards to software and music and working on some text, which is a little bit on the back burner, but once the music comes out, the text will be in the foreground. So just doing a bunch of things that are creative and independent. And I think this is in stark contrast to everything that we have presented. Now, I mean, I've been creating stuff for a long period of time. This isn't really anything new for me specifically, but what I'm starting to realize now is that the joy that I get out of creating this stuff and the joy that other people get in consuming this thing is in stark contrast to a wide variety of other narratives and things that are going on currently. And I think in the absence of political and intellectual freedom, and I think there's very limited political and intellectual freedom in the current narrative, that creating stuff independently is a way of breaking out of whatever box one wants to be, or one finds oneself in. And that I find really fascinating, the, the liberation, actually, the explicit liberation that one gets from creating stuff that other people consume. And the focus, kind of devotional effort in the creating it, and the joy that people get out of consuming it. And I think these are things that I'm really... I mean, I've always felt that, but increasingly as I find myself more and more in an environment, in a psychology, in just a space which seems very surreal and William Gibson-esque in many regards, from that, my response is to continue to do things that I enjoy that actually other people enjoy as well. And I'd rarely talk about this as a, a thing, as an explicit thing, but I did want to record a little bit associated with the fact that this creative stuff is in stark contrast to a wide variety of things that I see. And that, I think, is my background motivation for doing a lot of it, to create something which is completely independent of any dominant narrative or dominant ideas that we are currently being told to, you know, consume, be it through social media, news media, a wide variety of other ways. You just seem to see these dominant narratives that have got nothing to do with anything, as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, we're told that this is what we're supposed to do at these times. Well, in contrast to that, you know, Last Monkey Standing, right? In contrast to that, the Mushroom Boy, in contrast to that Nova Life, in contrast to that Model Rail Radio, in contrast to that, all these things that I put my time into to try to make a statement to folks and to try to re-engage people associated with joy, getting more joy out there for more people. I mean, that's the creative energy feedback loop that I really love associated with doing all these things. I want to put that out in video form just to resolve that as a potential issue.